What's up, baby cakes? We're back on a walk in a city. This time we're at the Bicentennial Mall. This is a green space right in the heart of downtown, kinda. Let's take a look. Starts here. Usually these fountains are going. I don't know why they're not. And there's a little sort of info thing, infographic there about the rivers of Tennessee. So technically this space is a couple of miles walk from downtown. I don't want to hear it. It's an easy walk. A couple of miles, easy walk from the heart of downtown. Even easier if you get one of the rental bikes for five bucks a day, you can just bike down here. So no complaining, no complaining. Look at the outside along this little wall here. There's like a history of the city. If you take this shit seriously, starting with a couple of billion years ago when the rocks that used to be coastal or whatever. Dip on the other side of the wall and get into the park. There's a cool little venue here where they have special little shows. It's not huge, but it's a fun spot for small shows. They do like some plays and some music throughout the summer. Like I literally pass this park every time I walk downtown. When I show you guys the city, I walk right past this park and I haven't shown it to you yet. And it's such a nice day that I'd pick up some steps circling the park. So there's the wall I showed you earlier. Outside of it has history. Inside is just green space so you can touch some grass without having to you know, not live in the city, which sounds like a horrible thing to me. I'm a city boy. There's all kinds of little spots to stop and chill, little fountains and things. I'll show them to you. You guys, the breeze we're getting right now, it's in the 70s. This is my weather. I'll be out a lot now. Across the way, you really can't see it that well, but that's the farmer's market. I'm gonna show you that when I can go over on the weekends when it's really hot and to show you kind of what they do over there. All right, so we're coming up on a couple of cool things here. Let me show you this one first. So this is a cool chill spot, always shady here, you can get a break. And this globe is really neat. It's constantly spinning through water. I'll walk up here and show you. So Tennessee is known as a volunteer state because for the longest time, we had more volunteers in the US military than other states. I don't know if that's still the truth or not. Um, but yeah, there's just like some moments here in history that matter. My, how the times have changed. This spot right here is really cool. A lot of times there's yoga classes and things happening here, but there's bells inside those columns and you can get them to play. I'm not gonna do it because it's real loud. Someone else might while we're here though. For me, when I used to bike all the time, this used to just be a cool spot to turn around in the park. So now you can kind of see all the way to the end of the park. This is where our big New Year's Eve or 4th of July events often happen. Actually, I think it's mostly just New Year's Eve that happens here because it's more about music. The 4th of July happens on the river where they can do more fireworks, but it's crazy how many thousands of people they can fit in this spot. It's always shocking to me how many thousands of people come to our New Year's Eve event here and how they fit them in this spot. And it's not like just shoulder to shoulder, it's really tight but it's manageable. So it's a really cool event. They rope off the entire park. The only problem is, is it does destroy the grass and stuff. So it usually takes a month, it takes the entire month of January to recover the park, but it's usually a cool event. Check it out. There's always just some cool shady spots to take a break and get walks in. Right, we circle the park. So I thought I would end this by bringing you over, giving you a better look at the little amphitheater that's here. Yeah, they leave it open. People can come in here and sit and chill. Just kind of enjoy the space. There's more trash on the ground than I would like to have seen, but people are trash. I think we all know this. Look at this, I love these little spots because you can forget for a minute you're in basically the heart of downtown Nashville. It's so cool. Amphitheater. Look at this shade, this is so awesome. I'm gonna head downtown. I think maybe that's what this video will be. I'll show you another really cool green spot in the city. Okay, this is Broadway, all the action. We're gonna go a block this way. I'm gonna show you the next green space. Oh, this, ignore this. The, the fact that I'm out getting some steps in, just burning some calories, you know, trying to be healthy and this chocolate peanut butter milkshake from a local ice cream place just, called to me. I didn't have a choice, really. I didn't have a choice. Okay, so there's a lot of ways to go here. You can circle in and go around the amphitheater, go around the outskirts of the green areas. Now, it varies depending on if there's a show. If there's not a show, 
It's really open. You can even go inside where the amphitheater is. I believe it seats 14,000 people, but I think they might be prepping for a show. So we may be a little bit limited in the way we can go, but let's check it out. Okay, so far I'm getting to wherever I wanna go. We're not blocked off. But this is cool, there's just little walking paths all throughout here around the little arena right on the river, as you can see. It's a really pretty spot, great place to get a break from the city. As I was saying, there's lots of different directions you can take. There's these cool art pieces everywhere with places to sit. Yes, it is by the railroad tracks, but I think that's kind of cool actually. And then of course we have the river over there. These are so cool. If you live in the area, there's even a little like dog park that's all fenced off where you can let the dogs out. But people walk their dogs all over the place here too. On the back side of the dog park, which is pretty big, there's a fitness course and a tree trail. So we'll walk a little of that. So it turns out there is a show happening at the amphitheater so a lot of the park was closed off so i didn't really get to walk it and show it to you we'll do another trip another day and i'll do a more in-depth walk through there because you can literally cross the river and there's a whole other park with a water feature and all kinds of other neat stuff so maybe we'll make a day of it and do that one anyway hope you enjoyed touching some grass with me on this monday Whew. all right you guys we made it home we might have pushed this one a little bit too far. I had foot surgery back during pandemic and boy, these dogs are barking.